okay let's explore uh, certain entries in zero folder okay, so this is few files that we supposed to check so let's start with the u u we gave the pressure inlet outlet velocity okay so depending so that means we specify the total pressure at the outlet conditions okay we try to explore all these things uh, uh, about all these different class of boundary conditions when we discuss about the uh, different class of boundary conditions okay but here uh, please understand we specify the total pressure based on the total pressure they try to calculate the uh, velocity okay and if there is a reversed flow then it going to apply the uh, gradient conditions okay so pressure inlet outlet velocity okay so depending on the pressure it try to calculate the velocity that is how uh, one can check and at outlet we have a inlet outlet okay what it mean that means at let's say uh, we have a outgoing flow then it going to apply the gradient conditions okay if it is a incoming flow then it again go towards the fixed value based on the incoming flow okay so if it is inlet outlet at the uh, um, uh, inlet outlet velocity okay so along with that we supposed to specify the fixed value for outlet so please check here in the pressure we don't specify both the outlet as the same value what it mean with the help of the specifying certain values at certain outlet we can divert the flow in un particular directions okay so this is how normally when people look at something flow through a multiple uh, flow through a duct and it's opening in multiple areas so if you want to switch the larger flow in one direction and uh, smaller flow in another direction we can mimic based on the uh, pressure conditions okay or you can specify based on the velocity condition as well but here we are working with the uh, pressure conditions okay along with that we require the uh, certain uh, conditions for k so look you can calculate k by specifying turbulent intensity also so we we told that turbulent intensity kinetic energy inlet okay so this is another way you can specify directly the um, k uh, as a fixed value based on the 0.5 as a turbulent velocity be why we did here we uh, we uh, didn't specify explicit value because we at before and we don't know what is the velocity with which the flow is entering inside the domain okay we, we only specifying the pressure total pressure okay so at that point of time this is the right choice okay at the outlet again inlet outlet same way you can specify and all the walls we have a standard wall treatment same way epsilon also you can see turbulent mixing length uh, dissipation rate inlet this is one of the way you can specify the uh, epsilon value and here uh, it is the channel height base so half the channel height they specified as a mixing length okay but this is a very very uh, crew uh, let's say uh, as far as mixing length is concerned we have a hardly idea okay so if you don't know about this mixing length then this uh, goes as a very vague uh, way of specifying this uh, epsilon conditions along with that we have a uh, all inlet outlet all uh, conditions at the outlet outlet 1 and outlet 2 and the for the walls we have a uh, k epsilon wall functions we specified okay so this is what one can see how you can specify the k and epsilon along with the nu t it's supposed to be calculated internally okay along with that at the wall we have a uh, nu t k wall functions okay like that way one can uh, fix the certain conditions for all our important variables okay so this is about the t junctions okay and uh, for that let's also look at few entries inside the constant folder so let's look at both the things so we specify rans modeling and k epsilon based rans model neutron and fluid and this is the its viscosity so uh, based on that uh, we can check what's supposed to be the re but right now we're not able to fix the re after the simulation over you can look at what is the re with which if you specify that particular pressure what's supposed to be the re and along with that let's look at few entries in the uh, system and constant folders so for a constant folder uh, again uh, I adopted this case from the pimple so you see the pimple form as a application but we are working with the piezo okay so please remember and try to change this as, as adjustable to the our time step 
along with that we can specify the props so they already apply certain props okay at the inlet near to the inlet outlet and center block okay so few things uh, it's already set okay so let's check the schemes eulerian scheme and uh, linear schemes we are working okay solutions we have a uh, pimple base so if you try to work with this it uh, not going to work but uh, we specify the piezo setting if you don't have this piezo setting look uh, i adapted this tutorial from pimple side okay and converted for piezo but if i forgot to keep this entry then it will uh, asking this entry is missing in the fv solution okay so you supposed to understand quickly that this entry i supposed to kept here let's say everywhere there is a um, pressure goes as a gradient then fv reference pressure and reference cell entry is supposed to be here like this way okay it is not there then also it going to give you certain errors okay so i think now you able to manage this very simple type of the error okay so now let's run this particular test case okay with the help of the piezo uh type of the setting okay so let's run this case so it is very coarse mesh 3d calculation with a very coarse mesh so it is going very fast okay let's look at how it look like in the para form so this is the test case u okay and look with this incoming velocity but now if you want to do the post processing we supposed to cut the cell okay so this is how you can see at the outlet one we specify larger pressure that means uh, pressure is very high that's why maximum flow is going from the outlet two okay so this is how one can check the calculations okay so let's see it's almost done so finished but uh, let me give you few more thing with this particular test case so let's explore its block mesh <laughs> file okay so look it's uh, given inlet outlet okay and uh, we have multiple blocks here so one block two block third block and one another block okay so let's explore uh, how the blocks is look like here so block is uh, uh look like something this way okay let's explore block 1 okay then block 2 then block 3 okay then block 4 so like that way you can um, set the uh, blocks and based on these blocks you can now modify its mesh file okay right now it is very very coarse mesh look okay so this is uh, uh, with respect to cross sections okay so 50 is in the for let's look at this okay in x direction we have 50 and in the cross section we have 5 by 5 so now your job is following you refine this mesh this reasonable cross section something like 25 25 so change appropriately this entire um, size okay and uh, let it be a uniform mesh only okay but try to change this to something like 25 25 cross section mesh okay and in each each portion let it be a 50 it is no problem okay but try to change the cross section mesh and try to run this case uh, with the uh, same setting okay and try to explore uh, what different uh, type of the change you observe as far as the simulation is concerned what i mean is when the simulation is over okay let me again go towards para form so let's cut the plane okay and look at the till now whatever the result we have okay so look when the final simulation is over try to check what is the recirculation you are getting here both the side okay as you refine the mesh maybe recirculation is going toward grid independency okay so few things uh, you can explore with the help of this very simplified test case you can change the uh, pressure outlets so right now it is 10 here let it be a atmospheric both the side that means you can get get the symmetric type of the uh, flow field both the sides okay and uh, apply let's say uh, different pressure conditions and try to simulate 
uh, this particular test case and try to ch map either the uh, pressure is changing how much is the mass flow rate so try to explore the mass flow rate by applying the uh, mass flow rate based uh, utility in the control deck file okay so that is what uh, one supposed to do with this class of the test case okay and uh, uh, I can uh, suggest you can change this entire test case from pressure driven to the velocity driven. That means you right now you specifying the total pressure at the outlet. Uh, other than that, let's say you explicitly knowing what's supposed to be the Reynolds number with which the flow is entering inside this duct. Let's say thousand is the RE with which the flow is entering. So fix that RE. Okay. So that means you have to change the boundary conditions and keep the uh, pressure outlets at the both the side and uh, along with the different pressure you try to mimic the or change the simulations okay so uh, do certain calculation uh, with the help of this very simple test case okay so this is uh, how one can run the piezo form so piezo form again i give you the brief idea give you the calculation for a uh, laminar that means without any modeling it goes as a, a dns along with the runs and LES calculation. So LES calculation we're not going to explore here. That part we're going to discuss during the advanced uh, uh, advanced uh, mode, uh, uh, during the advanced module, okay. Uh, uh, with the help of the piezo, this particular algorithm, if your physics is steady state, so even you are working with the transient type of calculation, at the end you're going to get a steady state result, okay. so. Uh, for that you just uh, look at the cavity flow for r equal to let's say 400 because we know that r equal to 400 go towards the steady state uh, type of the calculations or flow over a circular cylinder go with a very low r let's say r equal to 10 or 15 even though you are working with the transient uh, simulation you're going to get a steady state result okay along with that you try to activate the rans modeling go try to explore the different class of rans model either k omega based family or k epsilon based family go towards um, let's say v2f type of the model if the recirculation uh, bubble you want to capture very nicely okay when you go towards the runs calculation right now we are at a unsteady runs so if you want to compare compare with the simple uh, form um, calculation with the piezo form with the uh, runs calculation if you are working unsteady runs maybe you have to do the averaging with the help of that particular averaging patch functionality you have to in incorporate inside the control dict file and that give you the averaging before you start averaging you must check the props so for that there is a prop setting you have to keep inside the control dict file and prop give you the idea when to start the averaging for internal class of the flow or if you are working with the external aerodynamic then cdcl value is the best way to judge when to start the averaging okay so this certain things we uh, try to explore with the help of this different class of the tutorials okay so uh, whatever i uh, suggested to do try to follow the same thing okay and uh, that give you the uh, added confidence okay when you change by yourself different class of the tutorials okay try to change the boundary condition try to run the uh, piezo setting class of tutorial with the simple class of tutorial try to change the mesh size apply the grading near the wall okay uh, apply the new probe inside the um, entire domain try to look at the result with the, with the para view look at the line plots look at the contour plots look at the streamline plot uh, vector plots try to create the animation inside the para view all this exercise if you do it give you the uh, upper hand in your understanding okay so let me stop here about this uh, piezo class of tutorials